Did you know that Swedish people love to eat pork rib on Christmas? It's very common you will find pork rib on their yubut, which is the Christmas buffet. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you an Asian-influenced pork rib recipe. This recipe can be prepared in advance. So this means that you can shake more leg during Christmas. If you'd like to try something new and not afraid to go out of the box, let's go to my kitchen and I'll show you how to do that. First, we need to season the pork ribs. You can marinate the pork rib one day in advance. Let it sit in the refrigerator for overnight. Usually the meat is very tough, so I'm using bicarbonate to soften it. By doing that, the meat not only will be tender and the flavours will be more when they are set in the refrigerator overnight. If you were unable to let it sit overnight in the refrigerator, you can also marinate it at least 2 hours before. Don't worry, I've included the recipe in the video description so you could print it out. Let this pork rib sit in the refrigerator for at least 2 to 3 hours. Meantime, let's prepare the pickles eggs. These are pickled eggs soaked in vinegar and sugar. If you want the recipe, I'm going to include that in the video description too. If you are Asian, you probably are big fans of salted egg dishes. So, this is a good substitute, especially for those of you guys who live overseas and do not have salted egg at home. Now, let's pan fry the ribs in cooking oil. You want to fry this pork rib until they are fully cooked, at least crispy on the outside. This procedure took around 15 minutes. I've divided them into two patches so that I could cook them separately. In a hot pan with some oil, fry some garlic, ginger, curry powder and chili paddy. This shouldn't take more than 5 minutes. As long as it becomes too fragrant, you can add some butter. Once it starts to fragrance, it's time for you to add the pickled eggs. Let the pickled eggs cook in the ingredient for at least 5 minutes before you add in the pork ribs. Mix well and it should be ready to serve in a minute. dish can be prepared in advance. I suggest you put them in a plastic container, freeze it and then on Christmas day, take it out in the morning, defrost it and then just one hour before dinner time, take it out, put them in the oven, set around 150 degrees, let it sit and it's ready to be served right away. LG couldn't guess what that eggs mixture was made of. After tasting it, he thought it was made of meat. Look at him, he's really enjoying that. Mm. This dish can also yeah. be good with beer as a party food. It's beginning of December and we still haven't got so much snow. I wish there are snow so that I could go out for some outdoor shooting. So, right now, I just have to wait patiently. Maybe it is not a bad idea either, so that I could stay at home, cook more dish for you guys. Sweet like to bake during Christmas. In our home, it's no exception. I have satisfied LG's craving for raisins roll. So if you guys want to know how to make this Christmas bread, I do have videos on that. I'm going to include the link below in the video description so you too can make the Swedish Christmas saffron bread roll. And of course, here in Sweden, we have to make enough as standby just in case someone might turn up unexpectedly. If you want to make homemade Christmas gift, I have a few recipes for you. If you like me, don't have a sweet tooth 
why not try making these parmesan cookies? If you like that cute little box, I'm going to show you how to make them effortlessly. Here is also another Swedish favourite fika, orange chocolate square. That again can be made in advance. And there's one thing I noticed in Sweden, people like to make things in advance so that they could relax and shake leg during the Christmas day. And if you like pickled salmon, I'm going to include this recipe too. Actually, uh, you can find all this recipe in my Christmas playlist. Go and check it out. In my next video, I'm going to fulfill those of you who request for a Hainanese beef noodles. And it doesn't mean that I'm Hainanese, I'm good in it. But I'm actually quite satisfied with the result. So, if you like this recipe or like this dish, make sure you stay tuned. Yesterday, I did a live stream on Fika with SD and sharing with you guys how I create this Christmas tea blend. And xiao xiao, I also include this DIY tea bag, you know. So make sure you check out at the video description if you missed that. Give a thumbs up to this video, like it, share it, and I hope to see you in my next video. Have a blessed week. See you.